Hey guys, welcome Meals with Maria. Today I have a grocery haul for you and a meal plan. A little late on this, I filmed the grocery haul this past weekend and finally getting everything together to get it up. So I'm hoping that the grocery haul will just be fun for you and give you some inspiration as well as the meal plan will inspire you for next week's meal plan for your family. So here's everything I got this week. I spent $137.80 and I went to two stores. Over here is my Aldi haul. And then over here, I went to our local store, Hannaford. And you'll see that I got some like more specialty items at Hannaford that I really couldn't get at Aldi. So I spent almost identical at both stores. I spent like $69.05 here at Aldi and 68 something over here at Hannaford. Got my receipts in my hand. I'm like 68.75. So yeah, really, really, really close to both. Um, so yeah, let me, let me talk about what I got here. So some bacon i've been getting this every week this is like 337 at aldi and i was comparing at hannaford this week they did have like a super special deal that was uh two for seven and don't mind if there's any noise in the background kids are playing plus dan is putting the floor into the kitchen which is great news so not gonna complain about that um so it, basically this week i think this is a slightly cheaper than hannaford but i almost never see that price at hannaford it's usually like closer to five dollars for a pound of bacon so always try and go with the Aldi bacon. And then I got some eggs, these were $1.18. So I still haven't seen like the really inexpensive egg prices down to like 60 cents or 70 cents, but hopefully sometime in the future, those will come back. Um, they had English muffins, and I think this is just my store, had them marked down to 67 cents. And I probably should've got more of these, but I'll do when they're on sale is just pop them in the freezer. But my freezer is pretty full these days, so I just wanted to get one package of them because they were not on my list and then some feta cheese I think a couple weeks ago I got the reduced fat and I was like oh I don't know but this is actually uh pretty good like I didn't even I can't tell the difference and um it's fine for us so we're gonna have a like salmon bowl with some feta and I'll give you guys a meal plan after this too so you will be able to see what I bought why I bought it and then I got some chicken salad just because I needed more things for lunch and I was thinking chicken salad would be good. Chicken salad sandwiches. Love those. I got these Daniel smoothies. I've been getting these for the kids every week. And I would think they go through six really fast, but they really don't, which is awesome. So still have those hanging around. And I've been wanting to buy the Moo Tubes because I've, I always told you guys, like, those are $1.55. They're so cheap. Such a good deal. But they've only had the cotton candy ones. My kids hate the cotton candy ones. And then I got some non-fat Greek yogurt that is again from like one of the meal plan items and then we're gonna have so much of it so I think I might try and use it for a couple things or do some baking with it I was thinking about making some uh, little like key lime tarts so we could probably use those for that and then I got two things these pita crackers I don't know if they always have these but they were $1.69 which I think is a really good deal and I've been like really into pita crackers lately especially with like some tabbouleh so I got two of those mostly for me then this I think was like a special this week these granola cookie bites and Dan just tried them they're super like low cal 100 and 100 calories in one bag and just like a nice little snack and he said they taste like Samoas so that's awesome that's like a good little snack to give you a little something without uh going way crazy and then I needed more red wine vinegar and white wine vinegar. I realized I haven't had white wine vinegar in forever. So stocked up on both of those. And then I got some orange marmalade for a recipe this week with some ribs. And I think I saw that recipe on Manny in the making. And she's like, if you make anything from this, make these. I think it was an older, I want to say it was an older one, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to be making that recipe and probably likely sharing that with you guys. And then... Uh, some cornbread mix, always like 40 something cents, which is great again with the ribs. I got these snack packs. I've been buying these lately and they've just also been a really good uh, grab and go, especially where like I need to eat. I was like feeling really nauseous and um, I've been going to acupuncture and the acupuncture is like, oh, you should eat every three hours and that will help. Just have a little bit of protein. These have been the perfect little snack packs for me to eat like not every day because there's only three in them, but every week I buy three packs and it seems like we go through them and we're not like we don't need too many more. They're a little bit on the expensive side, like over $2, but they're really, really good. So this week I was trying the um, sharp cheddar and dried cranberries and sea salt to roasted almonds. 
a couple weeks or last week, a couple weeks ago, I don't know, I did the uh, pepper jack cheese and that was delicious too. So both of those are going to be really good. And then I got some cream cheese. That's for those key lime things. So I'm, the stuff that I have for those, I don't have to make them this week, but I'm thinking I might. So I'll definitely put the recipe for that down below for you. And then I got these broccoli florets. These are like 89 cents. And I'm thinking about making some like egg cups for breakfast. Again, I'll put the recipe for you guys for that too. And then I just wanted to have some garbanzo beans or chickpeas in the cabinet because the other day I wanted to make something for lunch and um, I was like, what, you know, what do I have? And I didn't, I didn't have chickpeas and I also didn't have tuna. And I was like, these are like staples when it comes to like making a little healthy lunch. So just want to stock up on those. These are always like 50 cents, 49 cents. And then these were 67 cents, I want to say. And I got two of them. And then I got a European cucumber and that was a dollar 15, which I think is a little expensive for my taste, but I knew it was probably gonna be cheaper than uh, Hannaford. So I grabbed that at Aldi. This, these are like less than a dollar for a garlic powder. I just happen to be out of garlic powder. The mushrooms are on sale for 99 cents this week. So I was thinking about putting those, I don't know, in the egg cups or something. I don't really have a plan for them, but because they're so, because they were 99 cents, I couldn't help it. These tomatoes, these were also on sale for like, I'm gonna say a couple bucks or something, but I needed tomatoes for my salmon bowls. And they also, they look really good. So I'm excited to try those. And then I got these bagel skinnies. I thought I could do um, some breakfast sandwiches like for Dan with um, these and then like a couple eggs. And I thought that might be something to switch things up because he's been doing just like scrambled eggs in the morning. And I think this might be a little bit more sustainable and I don't know, just make things not so boring. And then uh, I got these low carb tortillas. Also good for using like with a chicken salad or any sort of sandwich or like a tuna sandwich too. I needed more cheddar. Julian the other day had a grilled cheese and I hadn't made one for a while. And he's like, why do you not make these, mama? These are the best. So I was like, okay, I'll make it. He's like, can you make these every day? I was like, maybe. I got some more cheddar slices. Always good to have those around. Just like a bar of sharp cheddar. These, I think this is like $1.79, this is $1.69. And just like to have this for like snacking. Kiddos like these Colby sticks and I've been getting these pretty regularly lately and they're I think a little over $2. They're not the least expensive, but they definitely eat them. So it's nice to keep them in the fridge. And then this is like 270 something for this red cheese. And I just always like to have some around. I don't think I have a complete plan for it, but it's just nice to have in the fridge in case I wanna add it to anything. Always good like on like a last minute burrito bowl or something like that too so oh yeah so I also got pineapple was like a dollar fifty I want to say and then it was interesting because they had the same sale at Hannaford so I could have got one either way but got the pineapple at Aldi and then they had these outshine fruit bars now we had gotten some of these a little while ago that were like the littler ones but I actually I like the like wider uh, fruit bars so those are delicious and especially this time of year as it gets warmer I love 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 it so I got some salmon for my salmon bowls and I think, yeah, $7.79 a pound. So I know that Hannaford had it on sale this week for $6.99 a pound, but I didn't want to buy that because of the expiration date. I don't have this on my meal plan till later. And I do love the Aldi uh, fish because it's like in this vacuum packed package and I usually have a lot more time to use it so I can buy it on like the Sunday when I go shopping. And then I know I have until the 28th, which is amazing to use that. So that's pretty, pretty great. And then I got some ground sausage. Again, I double checked, like this is always what I do when I go shopping, like what's on sale. I knew that Hannaford had it for $2.99 a pound and this was $2.59. So I knew that when I went to Aldi, I saw that price and like that's cheaper. So I went with the Aldi one. Again, also checking the expiration dates. There were some that were sooner. So I wanted one that was further away because later in my meal plan is when I have like a sausage pasta. Which I'm really looking forward to actually. And I think that's that's pretty much it for Aldi. And then over here with my Hannaford buys, they had cantaloupe for $1.50. Uh, so I grabbed one of those. I figured we can do kind of like a cantaloupe pineapple salad thing. And that'll be really good, tropical. And then 
I needed to get some chipotle salsa because that one of the recipes I have calls for that. So that was actually like I thought very pretty expensive. Uh, I think it was like close to five dollars. Very pretty. Very pretty expensive. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether it's worth it, and I couldn't remember what recipe it went to, and so I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna buy it. And then I got some peach salsa because once I was in the salsa aisle, I was like, oh yeah, I want peach salsa. Like that sounds so good. And so, yeah, so I bought that and that was like two bucks or so. And then I got some kid, the kids, these Ritz cheese crackers. Now, so I always buy the Ritz ones because of Tommy's peanut allergy. And I think it still was processed in a facility, but for some reason we've never had issues with these. And I get nervous when I buy the cheese ones that are any other brand. So it's probably silly, but I always buy the Ritz. So they're, those are way more expensive when you're getting them um, at your, at like the regular, like the more expensive store. And then Wheat Thins, I just wanted like original Wheat Thins to go with my cheddar cheese. Just something that like pregnant, I'm like, I need them. <laughs> that is my snack. And then I uh, got some Clausens, cause so good super happy about that just wanted i think we're gonna have like burgers tonight and i was like oh i could definitely go for like a crispy delicious pickle and then <laughs> the, and i got some ben and jerry's for myself this is peanut butter half baked i've never seen that before so i'm like yes i want chocolate and i want peanut butter so hopefully that's really good it says it's a fan favorite comment below and let me know your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor because I'd love to know and I want to know like new flavors that I should try. And then I got some ricotta. This is actually going to go with the um, sausage dish, the sausage pasta. So I think that's going to like imagine ricotta sausage. They're like match made in heaven. Happy about that. And then I got the bananas. The all the bananas looked awful. And then these look, they're still really bruised. Like I don't know if like I they were all chiquitas, so I bet they came from the same shipment. But I like it was they were either bright green or they were all bruised up at Aldi. So I went and tried to find the least bruised ones at Hannaford, but still wasn't too great. And I needed a red onion, and at Aldi you can only get like the big bag of them, and I just don't need a big bag of red onions. They're gonna go bad if I buy that, so I didn't. And then Tommy was like, "How come when you make muffins? If you follow me in, on Instagram, you'll see that I." Just made some my favorite, favorite, favorite recipe, and I'll link this for you guys too. My uh, banana blueberry muffins from food.com. I think they're amazing and they're a great you know, way to use your bruised leftover bananas. Tommy's like, why do you always make blueberry muffins with banana? I don't know why I'm banana. So I was gonna make blueberry muffins, and then I'm like, oh, the blueberries were super expensive this week. So I saw this. This for the whole package was like two something, and then a package of blueberries was $2.99. So I'm like, all right, we'll try this. And it's a protein mix, so I don't know. I they don't. I know they don't need like the kids don't need a ton of protein, but just like a little bit. And I don't think that's too bad. Like twelve grams, that's reasonable for them. To try and just get a little bit in. So I don't know when I'm gonna make them. I don't know if I'll make them this week or next. But grab those because I saw them. And then in the frozen section, I don't know how I, my eye caught these, and I've never tried them. So can if you have comment, let me know what you think. They just look so delicious frozen cherries with white and dark chocolate it's like i need that so i picked those up again those are like 5.99 you know you can get that many of them but super they look really yummy i'll let you guys know what i think next week and then i got cool whip and that's also to go in my uh, key lime pie things but i don't know i really wanted true whip so i mean it's it actually called for cool whip but i i wish i could get cool, true whip but it is what it is uh, and then, so like lots of veggies here. So parsley goes with the recipe. Scallions recipe. Fennel bulb. I've never bought a fennel bulb before. I think this goes. This must go into the sausage dish. Dish sausage dish. Um, so hoping for the best because I don't like like the licoriceiness of fennel. But this doesn't seem like it's. I mean, it just seems like a vegetable. So I could be wrong. I may not go with it. A uh, leek. I think also for the same dish. And then, so these things I need to get all, I guess I could have got the scallions at Aldi, but at Hannaford because they, they don't really carry this kind of produce at Aldi. And then I got a shallot and then this tomato was like calling to me. It looks so good. Doesn't that look so good? It was like heirloom hothouse tomatoes. 
and I just bought this because I want to slice it up today and have a tomato sandwich for lunch. So that was the purpose of that. It was like two dollars, but it was so beautiful. Wouldn't this call to you? Because it's only April. Like I don't see tomatoes like this that often. And I got some egg whites to make my like broccoli egg white cups. I got corn. They had two for a dollar. I know it's way early for corn season, but I thought my husband and kids would like love some corn. They um. I don't know. It's just fun. The kids love corn. My son, who's five, he calls it corn macabre. It kills me. So I'm going to be like, we're having corn macabre tonight. So I thought that might be good, but like our burgers or our ribs, um, we'll see which one I cook it with. And then surprisingly, the chicken, and this is, I always recommend to check your flyers before you go to the store. I knew I had to go to two stores already, so I checked both the flyers. And the chicken was on sale for $1.69 at Hannaford. And at Aldi, it was like closer to two. So chicken was cheaper at Hanford this week. So this is good for a couple recipes that I'm making. And if I have any extra, I'll freeze it. And then I got grabbed these Southern style ribs. Now, I don't know what the difference between country style and Southern style is. This is like a huge package. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna last a while. Maybe we'll have like rib sandwiches or something some night. I don't know, but I thought I would only get like a pound or two and I ended up with I guess it's the family pack. You have to get the deal. Four and a half, four, almost four and a half pounds. But still, there was $1.49 a pound, which I thought was a really, really good price. So that was perfect. That, that was what inspired me to have ribs that it was so cheap. And so, yeah, that's everything that I got at Hannaford. And so let me uh, give you a little last look at everything, and then we will cut to the meal plan. All right, here is my meal plan. And, yeah, super late, but here it is for you guys because... I know you're gonna to wanna to know what I'm making and I'll put all the recipes in the description box as usual. So crock pot marmalade ribs with cornbread. This is like something, I got a couple things from Mandy in the making on here. So something I saw in Mandy in the making and I don't know if I was able to find her recipe, but either way I wanted to go with that marmalade. I don't know if you guys have ever cooked with that before, but if you use that with like ribs or even with chicken, oh my God, it's so good. So that was Monday, Tuesday was my birthday. So we actually ordered out, kind of worked out that way. Um, Wednesday, lemon chicken with potatoes. That is so good and that's a $5 dinner. So you wanna tune in uh, my next video. I'll have that as a $5 dinner. Can't wait to share it with you guys. And then Lauren's chicken, which is another Mandy in the making. So if I can find that for you guys, it's like a mix of Thousand Island dressing, cranberry sauce, and um, I wanna say French onion soup mix. And you mix that all together and then put it with the chicken and bake it. And apparently like the family was like all, all about it um, on, on the idea of the making. So, um, so good. And then Greek salad with salmon. I think that's a skinny taste recipe. And then Saturday is ricotta and sausage pasta. And I think that is from What's Gabi Cooking. I have like my spots I'd love to get my recipes from. So those are some of them. And then this cheesy beef skillet, which is something I saw on like a $5 dinner. So that's another $5 dinner you'll see in my next video. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't. If you wanna see my upcoming $5 dinner video. If you wanna see last week's, um, make sure to put that down in the description box as well so you can check that one out. We got some really good dinners in there and I'm gonna be doing $5 dinners every week. And I will also put my grocery haul playlist up if you want to see some more grocery hauls and yeah, lots of goodies to check out. So make sure to subscribe and like the video and I will see you guys all very soon. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you.